So we're going to quickly look at the fundamentals of uh, drawing with shapes in Illustrator. So over on our toolbar on the right here, we have the rectangle tool. If you click and hold down on the mouse, you get the full list of all the shapes. So let's first look at the rectangle tool. If you double click on your artboard, you can draw a shape to a specific size. So in this case, I'm going to do it by 100 by 100 pixels, and that will give me a square. You can also manually draw a shape out by clicking and holding down on your mouse, and then you can draw a shape to any desired size. If you drag out a shape using the mouse, button and manually draw out. If you put your finger on the shift key, then it will be equal on all sides. So giving you a square in this case. If we choose the ellipse tool, same principles. If we double click on the artboard, we can draw an ellipse to a specific size. Or if we click on the artboard, we can manually drag out a, an ellipse to any given size. So in this case, we make a, like an oval. Um, again, you can uh, click on the artboard and use the shift key. You can draw an ellipse so it's equal on all sides. And then I'm going to show you something else. You can also, by putting your finger on the Alt key, you can draw out from the center when you draw out a shape. And, in this, and if we put our finger on the shift key, then we can make that equal on all sides. So that can be quite useful as well. Now, let's look at this rounded rectangle tool. So if I draw out a rounded rectangle, it gives us rounded corners. Let me just zoom in so you can see those corners. So if I select the direct selection tool here, and these are called corner widgets. So these are live corners. So if we pull in the corner widgets, you can see we can increase the radius of all of the corners of our shape. Now, on the properties, of this shape, if we click on these three dots here to the more options. Uh, so this is the transform panel. And you can see if we want to have those radiuses to a specific size, because it's got the linked icon in the middle here linked, all of those radiuses will be equal. So what we can do is we could break that link if we wanted to, and we could change either the uh, size, so if I make the top ones 30, okay. And we can also change the style of the corners. So if you click on one of these corners on the little arrow there, you can see we can change it from a rounded style to an inverted round. Okay, and I can do that there as well. Uh, change it to an inverted round. The last one here is a chamfer, by the way. Okay. So I might do that on all of them, actually. And uh, I think I'll keep them equal. And we could put the link back on if we want. And you can see if we use the corner widget there, we can increase the uh, size of all of those in one go. Just uh, view fit on artboard. And let's look at some other shapes. We've got the polygon tool. So if we click and drag out uh, a polygon. Now, if you want the edge of that to be um, parallel with the horizontal horizon, we can put our finger on the shift key 
So you can see how that then makes that side parallel to the horizontal horizon. Have you ever thought about why there's no triangles here? Well, that's because we can make triangles out of polygons. So if I click and drag out while drawing my polygon, if I use the up or down arrow key, I can basically either increase the sides using the up arrow key or the down arrow key, I can decrease and make a triangle. Let's also look at the star tool. So the normal star, I call this the party star, you draw out five sided. And then if you wanted a star that you get on maybe the American flag or the European Union, if we put our finger on the Alt key as we draw that star, you can see that's got then straight sides. If I double click on the artboard, so you can see you can set the amount of points that we have when we draw out a star, and we can also set the radius of the outer radius and also the inner radius if we want to have that to specific uh, size. And that will then give us a star. When we draw out manually, when we draw out our star, if we use the up or down arrow key, we can basically increase the amount of points. So the last thing I wanted to show was as you draw out a star manually, if you put your finger on the control key, you can see how that stops the inner radius from increasing anymore and the outer radius then carries on increasing. So that's it for um, the fundamentals of drawing with shapes. Thank you for listening.